I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. We got an earthquake swarm going on in Elgin, South Carolina. After a magnitude 4.0 earthquake, I have two monitors I downloaded here. You can see all the earthquakes here. Yeah, the uh, top one is JSC. The bottom one is BIRD. The 4.0 that USGS said was a 3.5, which originally they said was a 4.0. Also, EMSC said it was a 4.0. 3,481 people said they felt. USGS gave it an intensity level of 6, meaning everyone felt it. Many people were frightened and they ran outdoors. Plaster and chimney damage. There would have been breakage of windows and dishes and glaster, or plaster, sorry. Things fell off the walls. Automobiles would have been rocking noticeably. Here is the location of that earthquake in Elgin. I told you guys, you probably had a larger one coming. And I explained how we got tectonic movement and how the, the uh, soil has a lot of sediment, so earthquakes are felt over a very large area. According to EMSC, here is some of the felt report. Uh, this one says the entire building and contents inside shook. Nothing broke or damaged. Well, they're probably earthquake prepared. House shook in Elgin for about 10 seconds. Low rumble like thunder. House shook for several seconds. Nothing fell off the walls or anything like that. Loud boom, less jolting than the previous earthquake. But the rattling went on for a while, longer than I've heard this year. First ever quake I've ever felt. At first I thought it was loud thunder, but then noticed the shaking. Felt a lot bigger than a 3.9. Yeah, it was. Let me show you. Here's the uh, spectrogram. We'll go to the seismic signature. And I'll bring this down so you can see at the bottom, those of you that have larger screens to view it, it says MD 4.0. And more recently, yeah, we got another small one there. And then we have another one there. Let me close this out. And see another small one there. And another one there. Like I said, I downloaded two different monitors. This one on the left is BIRD. The one on the right is S or JSC. Both of these stations are a little more, oh, maybe about 32 miles from the location where these earthquakes have been happening. Let me bring this out. I talked about this out here, the Carolina trough, how this is a remnant of when the, uh, world was one giant continent and then it divided up and then uh, during the time of the dinosaurs yeah this is a remnant under there slowly moving towards uh, the west yeah there's oil and gas down through here and back in the 1980s they were thinking about doing exploration a lot of sediment throughout this area yeah it's part of the supercontinent uh, Gowanin I want to say I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Okay, 1638 and 15 seconds. USGS is not reporting this earthquake. Here you can see the newest one they reported is a 1.9 at 2002, a 2.1 at 1857. Yeah, the 3.5, that's actually a 4.0. 1843 and see. It jumps down to 731, so they are not reporting this earthquake. It shows up on two different monitors. It's marked in red, so the computer picked it up and sent a text notification to the geologist. That comes in as a magnitude 3.28. I'll bring it down. Let's 
bring it down so you can see it once again if you're looking at this on your television or a larger computer MD 3.28 okay and I assume this is the newest one that they're reporting oh I have to go to the other monitor because for some reason this one isn't working in this area see that this one is okay let me bring this up let me close that out so you can see in fact this one right here is on two different monitors um yeah about 60 miles apart if not even farther okay and this is the newest earthquake that they're saying i believe is a 1.9 this comes in as a magnitude 2.83 all right let's bring it down and i'll show you 2.83 Yeah, very shallow. 2.9, um, let's go to miles. 1.8 miles below sea level. Uh, this other one, 1.4 miles below sea level. The 4.0 that they're claiming is a 3.5. Don't want people to panic. 1.6 miles below sea level. Elgin's elevation is only 400 feet above sea level so these earthquakes are occurring uh, not quite 8,000 feet below sea level and Elgin is only 400 feet above sea level so this 1.9 is actually a magnitude 2.83 what else we got on here let's check this out did they report oh I redid that one okay this 2.0 that they're claiming is actually a 2.82 and we'll go to its seismic signature and again these are all tectonic yep the plates are moving yep see the sharp points that means it's tectonic sharp points we have another one here at uh, 12 12 and five seconds that they're not reporting and there's a spectrogram also very shallow comes in as a magnitude 1.27 another one at 1210 slightly a little bit larger a magnitude 1.59 again not being reported and we'll go to its spectrogram yeah look how shallow that is uh 1228 not being reported and i really shortened up the seismic signature 1.59 again very shallow we got another very small one that just came in um i wonder if they'll even report it even the people that live there are saying these earthquakes are larger than what they're reporting here on emsc for the 2.1 at um 1857 it says it definitely was more than a 2.1 my whole house shook violently another one about 24 kilometers west which is almost 15 miles says they live in Lugoff and work in Blythewood and felt it sitting at my desk for the 4.0 it says they were scared another one says the whole house shook computer monitor shook on the desk um sounded like loud thunderclap followed by vibration of the whole house outside hummingbird finger feeder swayed slightly immediately after initial noise another one parentheses strong it was the longest earthquake felt so far in northeast columbia south carolina yep scared the pets shook the windows loud booming wave that you felt through your feet and could hear over everything felt bigger than the other day was more violent it's the third one i heard a loud explosion at the beginning of the quake i could tell this was the biggest one yet i really heard it coming the house yelled about it this time with a big cracking sound i've been awake and at home for all the large quakes in the past seven months 
It's disturbing that it's getting more intense. The shaking and noise that the Earth made this time was a lot more substantial than the last quake we had a few days ago. My animals were alarmed, barking and squawking this time when they did not do that last time. My TV is wall mounted and was extended out and the TV swung noticeably. Not incredibly dramatic, but definitely different from the last. My house also made a lot more noise and it was already loud the last time. Well, the last large one they had, they felt it all the way up to Canada. And, yep, this one too. It was felt as far as uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, St. John, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Norfolk, Virginia. And here we got it over by um, just past Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, in Indiana, Indianap Indianapolis, blah, blah, tongue tied. Fort Wayne again, Youngstown, Pittsburgh. Oh, this time we got a little bit farther. Detroit, Michigan. Um, and Aurora, Illinois. Let's see, uh, Davenport. I think that is Iowa. It's right on the border with Illinois. Yeah. Yep, yep, what do we got here? It doesn't say we're in Tennessee, but it's right on the border there. Okay, let's bring this back in. All right, two marked in yellow, meaning they have damage. In Winsboro, intensity level six. And doesn't give us a name. Let's see if we can zoom in. We can see, oh, we got a military base over here. I hate that when they don't. Okay, got we got Lugoff here. So this would be right next to Lugoff. There's the star for where it occurred at. Intensity level 5 in Elgin. And intensity level in 6 to the uh, southeast a little bit of where this earthquake occurred. And that's interesting. What do we got here by Myrtle Beach? Intensity level 3, 2, Charleston. Boy, I worry about those people. Yeah, they got a history of some major damage from past earthquakes. Uh, Grovetown, intensity level 5. So they would have had some breakage too. Dishes, windows, maybe things that fell off the wall, plaster disturbance tall objects fell over but six means chimneys were damaged yeah uh, falling plaster maybe foundation better check that water and gas lines yep earthquakes are increasing around the world and I told you guys as the earth's magnetic field weakens this is what we're going to see you can review my last video about more details you guys really need to be earthquake prepared get those tall things away from the head of your bed make sure cupboards and cabinets and hot water heaters are bolted to the walls have two weeks of food and water and emergency uh, medical uh, don't forget the pets things like that Yep, there is a 20% chance it could be a foreshock for something much larger to come. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.